Ever wondered why Prague, the city of a hundred spires, stands as a perfect blend of past and future? Welcome to the enigma that is Prague. This city, nestled in the heart of Europe, is an intriguing tapestry woven with threads of history, culture and modernity. With every step you take, you're walking through centuries of stories, each more fascinating than the last. Prague's rich tapestry begins with its architecture. A stroll down its cobbled streets is like flipping through a book of architectural styles. From the Gothic grandeur of the St. Vitus Cathedral to the Baroque beauty of St. Nicholas Church, each structure whispers tales of the city's past. Yet, amidst these reminders of bygone eras, stand symbols of the new age. Modern buildings, sleek and innovative, rise alongside these historical gems, creating a skyline that's a testament to Prague's journey through the ages. But Prague is not just a city frozen in time or a playground for architects. It's a cultural hotspot, a meeting place of ideas and traditions. Over centuries, it has drawn artists, writers, musicians and thinkers from around the globe, each leaving an indelible mark on the city's cultural landscape. From Mozart's symphonies echoing in its concert halls to Kafka's words imbued in its literary scene, Prague has been a muse for many. Yet, it's not just the past that shapes Prague's cultural scene. Today, it's a vibrant modern city, pulsating with energy and innovation. Contemporary art galleries, bustling cafes and tech startups have found a home here, creating a dynamic blend of old and new. Prague, in essence, is a city of contrasts. A city that embraces its past while boldly stepping into the future. It's a place where history and modernity coexist, where cultures collide and blend, creating a unique and fascinating cityscape. So, let's journey back in time to unravel the history of this captivating city. As we peel back the layers, we'll discover the events, the people and the ideas that have made Prague the enigma it is today. Our story begins in the 9th century with the establishment of Prague Castle. This magnificent fortress perched high on a hill is where the seeds of the majestic city of Prague were sown. The tale of Prague's inception is as much a story of power, politics and perseverance as it is of beautiful architecture and a rich culture. Prague, as we know it today, didn't just spring up overnight. Its roots can be traced back to the 9th century when the pre mislid dynasty under the leadership of Prince Borivoy took the first steps towards establishing this city. The construction of Prague Castle marked the inception of Prague as a significant political and cultural hub. Rising above the Vltava River, this castle became the seat of power for the rulers of Bohemia, a testament to their influence and authority. The pre mislid dynasty played a pivotal role in shaping the early history of Prague. Their reign, which spanned several centuries, saw Prague grow from a modest settlement into a bustling city. The dynasty's rulers left an indelible mark on the city, with their legacy evident in the architectural marvels and cultural heritage of Prague. While the construction of the Prague Castle was a significant step, the city's true metamorphosis began with the establishment of the Old Town and New Town in the 13th and 14th centuries, respectively. The Old Town, with its narrow winding streets and historic buildings, and the New Town, boasting grand squares and Gothic churches, added to the city's blossoming urban landscape. These developments were instrumental in transforming Prague into a thriving metropolis, attracting merchants, artists and scholars from far and wide. But the story of Prague's foundations is not just about bricks and mortar, kings and castles. It's about the spirit of its people, their resilience and their ambition to build a city that would stand the test of time. A city that would grow, evolve and yet retain its unique charm and character. The foundations were laid, but Prague was yet to see its golden age. As we step into the 14th century, Prague basks in the glory of its golden age. A time of prosperity and growth, the city is poised to become a beacon of culture, knowledge and architectural grandeur in Europe. The man at the helm of this transformation is none other than Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor. His reign is one marked by a deep love for his native city, and an unyielding commitment to its development. Under his rule, Prague becomes the capital of the Holy Roman Empire and the epicenter of European politics. 
One of Charles IV's most enduring legacies is the iconic Charles Bridge. Spanning the Vltava River, this stone bridge is more than a means of crossing water. It's a testament to the city's architectural prowess. Its construction, which began in the year 1357, was a feat of engineering that would stand the test of time, surviving floods, wars, and the passage of centuries. Yet, Charles IV's ambitions for Prague extend beyond the physical. He envisions Prague as a city of learning, a hub of intellectual and cultural exchange. To this end, he establishes Charles University in the year 1348. It's among the oldest universities in Europe and the first north of the Alps, attracting scholars from far and wide. Its establishment marks Prague's emergence as a center of education and research, a role it continues to play to this day. The crowning jewel of Charles IV's reign, however, is the St. Vitus Cathedral. This magnificent structure, with its soaring spires and intricate stained glass windows, is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. It's not just a place of worship, but a symbol of Prague's spiritual and artistic vitality. The Golden Age of Prague is a period of unprecedented growth and prosperity. It's a time when the city truly comes into its own, establishing itself as a leader in education, architecture and culture. The landmarks of this era still stand, symbols of a city's glorious past and its enduring spirit. But as with all Golden Ages, turbulence was on the horizon. The 15th century ushered in a period of religious and political unrest. As the dawn of the 15th century broke, Prague found itself embroiled in the turbulence of the Hussite Wars. This was a time of religious dissent, stirred by the teachings of Jan Hus, a Czech theologian and a forerunner of the Protestant Reformation. Jan Hus, a name synonymous with religious reform in the Czech lands, challenged the authority of the Catholic Church igniting a spark that would lead to a full-blown conflict, the Hussite Wars. The impact of these wars was profound, leaving an indelible mark on Prague's society and architecture. The city, once a bastion of Catholicism, became a stronghold of the Hussite faith, an event that shaped its spiritual and physical landscape for centuries to come. As the echoes of the Hussite Wars faded, the reigns of Prague fell into the hands of the Habsburg dynasty. This transition to Habsburg rule marked a new chapter in Prague's history, one characterized by a significant transformation in the city's culture and structure. Under the Habsburgs, Prague flourished, evolving into a vibrant center of art and science. It was during this period that the city's architectural landscape was enriched with Baroque and Renaissance influences, giving Prague its distinctive and enchanting aesthetic. The Habsburgs also brought with them a cultural diversity that added new layers to Prague's rich fabric. The city became a melting pot of German, Italian and Czech influences, creating a unique blend that is evident in Prague's art, architecture and cuisine. However, the Habsburg rule was not without its challenges. The city grappled with religious tensions, political struggles and social upheavals. But through it all, Prague stood resilient, its spirit unbroken. Despite the turmoil, Prague remained resilient, standing as a beacon of cultural and architectural grandeur. The city's journey through the centuries of turmoil and transformation is a testament to its enduring strength and resilience, a narrative woven into the very fabric of its streets and structures, echoing in the whispers of its past and resonating in the vibrancy of its present. Fast forward to the 19th and 20th centuries, Prague embraced modernization yet retained its historical charm. The 19th century marked a period of national awakening for the Czech people, aptly named the Czech National Revival. A sense of Czech identity was rekindled, sparking a cultural resurgence that championed the Czech language, literature and arts. This movement played a crucial role in shaping modern Prague, fostering a renewed sense of pride and unity amongst its citizens. As we journey into the turn of the 20th century, the influence of Art Nouveau began to grace Prague's architectural landscape. The city became a canvas for this ornate style, with buildings echoing the fluidity and natural forms characteristic of this artistic movement. Prague's Municipal House, a stunning example of Art Nouveau, stands as a testament to the city's embrace of contemporary trends while preserving its historical roots. 
The early 20th century also bore witness to the establishment of the first Czechoslovak Republic in 1918, marking a pivotal point in Prague's history. The city became the capital of a newly formed state, a beacon of hope and sovereignty for the Czech and Slovak people. But as the pages of history turned, Prague was not immune to the global impact of two world wars and the subsequent communist era. The city adapted and transformed under these influences, shaping its modern persona. The Velvet Revolution of 1989, a peaceful protest that led to the end of communist rule, was a testament to the resilience and spirit of Prague's people. In the aftermath, Prague embarked on a journey of rejuvenation, balancing modern development with the preservation of its rich history. The city's skyline, a picturesque blend of medieval spires and contemporary structures, reflects this harmonious coexistence of the past and the present. So, as we explore the streets of Prague today, we are not simply walking through a modern city, we are strolling through centuries of history, culture and resilience, each step echoing the city's journey through time. Prague had weathered storms and emerged, embracing the new while cherishing the old. Today, Prague stands as a vibrant city, a melting pot of cultures. In the heart of Europe, Prague has become a hub of cultural fusion, where the past and the present, the East and the West, converge in a delightful dance. This city, steeped in history, does not shy away from embracing the new, the different, the eclectic. Walking through the cobblestone streets, one can hear a symphony of languages. It's a testament to the city's status as a tourist hotspot, attracting millions from around the globe. Each visitor, each new resident, brings a piece of their culture, their history, their perspective, enriching the city's cultural tapestry. But it's not just the people that tell the story of this cultural blend. It's in the city's thriving art scene, where the traditional Czech marionettes share the stage with modern art exhibitions and avant-garde theater. It's where the echoes of Dvorak's symphonies blend seamlessly with the pulsating rhythms of contemporary music. You can taste the cultural fusion in Prague's food scene too. Here, the hearty Czech goulash coexists with the delicate flavors of international cuisine. From the spice-laden dishes of the Middle East to the comfort food of the American Midwest, the city's myriad of restaurants, bistros and cafes serve as culinary crossroads their menus a testament to Prague's embrace of diversity, and despite this wave of modernity and cultural fusion, Prague has managed to preserve its history beautifully. The city's architecture is a visual journey through time, with Gothic churches standing proudly next to Baroque palaces and modernist designs. Each building, each street, each square holds a story, a piece of the city's rich tapestry of history and culture. In this blend of the old and the new, the familiar and the foreign, Prague has found its unique identity. It is a city that marries tradition with innovation, history with modernity, the local with the global. Prague, a city that has stood the test of time, continues to enchant us with its timeless beauty and cultural richness. So what makes Prague, Prague? Is it the compelling history, the tales of kings and artists and the battles fought on its grounds? Or perhaps it's the city's modernization, the way it has risen from the ashes of turmoil and transformed into a dazzling metropolis with a thriving economy and advanced infrastructure. But there's more. Prague is also a cultural melting pot. Here you'll find a blend of cultures, a mix of the old and the new, the East and the West. The city's unique charm lies in its ability to preserve its rich history while embracing the dynamism of the modern world, making it a timeless city in the heart of Europe. Prague is not just a mere location on the map. It's a city that tells stories, a city that has seen it all and yet continues to evolve. Prague isn't just a city, it's a living, breathing testament to the resilience and beauty of human culture and history.